lessons that are very uh, intertwined because we're going to look a bit more at exploiting parallelism in Alpaca and for that we're going to compute pi in four steps. This will be the focus of our next four lessons. And we, cho we chose this example because it's a very good example for fair parallelism. We will also introduce parameter passing to the kernel and how you have to deal with memory management on an alpaca. And we're going to start with a simple algorithm. We're going to find points in a circle. So this is our task. We have a, a circle or a quarter of a circle with a defined radius. And we have n randomly scattered points some of which are inside the circle and some of which are not. And our task is to find uh, all points that lie inside the circle quarter. Our approach is going to be that we're going to create a grid with n threads so that we have one thread per element and each thread will evaluate a single point. And uh, we'll try to determine if this point is inside the circle or not. You can just use Pythagoras theorem for this. So uh, the distance d from a point to the origin can be calculated fairly easy. And if the distance is smaller than the radius or smaller or equal than the radius, uh, our point is defined to be inside the circle and otherwise it's false. So to do this, we need, first need to pass parameters to the kernel. Um, in order to, uh, you, uh, there are three different types of parameters we can pass to uh, an Apaka kernel. First, the accelerator type, which is always required. You always have to pass this one to a kernel. Then you can uh, pass pointers to memory buffers of any data type. So you can just use built-in values, copy uh, or uh, your own defined values. You just need to pass it in as a pointer. And you can also pass in scalar values of trivially copyable types, meaning uh, built-in C++ types or composed types that only contain uh, trivial types as well. For our pixel finder kernel, the signature of the operator will look like this. We first pass in the uh, accelerator, which is the required parameter. Then we're going to pass in uh, a point struct and then we're going to pass in uh, the radius of the, of the circle. Oh, I think I skipped a... Oh, I skipped this slide. So uh, this is how our uh, point struct looks like. Inside the struct we have uh, the coordinates x and y, and we also have a boolean that defines for a point if it is inside the circle or not. This is the way we pass them. Uh, uh, sorry for skipping the previous slide. Are there any questions so far? Uh, I assume the fact that the fields are pointers is for SOA over uh, the, uh, the other one? Yes, exactly. Uh, yes, but uh, like from correctness point of view, nothing stops you from having a pointer to your like area of your user defined structures. So this also supports it. Oh. Yeah, it's just maybe not the best. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 